Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. Greetings from the floor of a hotel room. I loved your video last week so much. It was poignant and beautifully written and genuinely one of my all-time favorite Vlogbrothers videos. I just had one small issue with it, which is that you told me you were going to upload that one secret video, and then I was going to upload my secret video in response so I wouldn't have to make a video on vacation, but I can't do that because my secret video doesn't make any sense without your secret video, which you didn't upload. Hold on, I just realized something. I don't have my good camera, but I do have my good microphone. Oh, hi. Hello there. Welcome to Cool Sounds with John Green. Oh, crap. I just had a terrible idea that I love. All right, so yesterday a 12-year-old family friend quizzed me on all the celebrities I've ever met, and then after this kid had compiled a truly exhaustive list of such famous people, he asked me a question. Of all the celebrities you've met, which one would make the best president? So we're doing that while looking at the ocean. Let's begin with Elon Musk, whom I met at a fancy dinner and who had a shockingly exhaustive knowledge of Vlogbrothers and our related projects. Anyway, later that night I invited him to karaoke, but he was busy. He was born outside the United States, so I have successfully dodged that question. I met Laura Dern because she was in the Fault in Our Stars movie and we became friends. She is a great mom and person and actor actor, and I do not think she would ever even faintly consider the idea of running for president, which is one of her many character assets but I would vote for her. Joe Biden asked me to co-host a stop on his book tour several years ago, and he was so empathetic and such an engaged and careful listener that I made an entire video about my experience with him. Additionally, he has 40 years of experience in governance. Now, I wish he was a little younger, but I also think that Joe Biden wishes he was a little younger. Still, I happily voted for him, and I'm very glad that I did. Dwayne The Rock Johnson handed me an MTV Movie Award in, I think, 2015, and then backstage we had a brief conversation that I don't remember because I was so profoundly distracted by the IRL site of his biceps, which genuinely defy everything I previously understood about human physiology. Now, The Rock has never held elected office, and I probably wouldn't vote for him, but I will say his guns would intimidate the hell out of our enemies. Have I ever had extremely negative experiences with celebrities who I definitely would not vote for? Yeah, but I suppose I should interrupt myself here and say that being famous is really weird and far less pleasant than it's made out to be. Like, when I was in middle school, I couldn't shake this terrible feeling that everyone was looking at me and judging me and thinking about what an idiot I was and so on. But the thing about being famous is that that middle school feeling is kind of true. Like, if you're Serena Williams and you're in a restaurant or reading a book by a hotel pool or whatever, people are looking at you and potentially even photographing you for public consumption. And so I try to remind myself of that when interacting with famous people, that they may be having a bad day, and also that they are experiencing a lot of pressure whenever they're in public. All that noted, I met Rand Paul at a dinner party once, and uh, I would not vote for him. You know who I would vote for? Ryan Reynolds. And yes, I know he was born in Canada, but I would amend the Constitution for him. Also, almost all the literary celebrities I've met have been very kind. Like, Zadie Smith was extremely nice to me, even though I was a babbling bundle of nerves during our brief conversation. She's also not eligible to be president, but we already amended the Constitution for Ryan Reynolds, so I'd vote for her. But of all the non-political celebrities I've ever met, you know who I genuinely think would make the best American president? Hank Green. Although, I hope you never run, because I need you making Vlogbrothers videos like the wonderful one you made last week. Hank, I'll see you on Friday. Man, this video was a, uh, was a journey. Hope you enjoy the waves. <laughs>